to see how we're going to draw the eye. When you're thinking about an eye, you don't actually think as an eye when you're drawing. What you are looking for is the visual elements. You only need to look for the thing that you can put on. Take a look at where we're going to put the whole shape of the eye. Let's draw it this bit. How about that? So the first is the just a couple line to represent the placement. And then you're gonna decide on, oh, it's too big, too small, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit lower. This is R, you can change, change the lines. That's the visual elements. And if you're happy with this, oh, you say, I'm not happy with this. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. In that case, you can change it. That's pretty easy. Right. Okay, the next thing I want to also divide is over here, there's another line coming here. And now the next thing you're going to think about is how I'm going to measure. So you can think about the height of the eye compared to the width of the eye. Those are visual. They can change it. Oh my God, look at the eye, it's so big. Look at the eye, it's so big, it's not helping you. Just tell me what is the relationship between the height and the width, right? So if you get the relationship correctly, and the eye will look like the eye you're drawing. I already have enough video about measuring in the drawing basics. So go over there to find the basic uh, lessons. The same thing that you would measure an apple, any 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 simple objects. Okay, you need to working on is the height compared to the width. Now looking at oh, that's the line over here in the top. It actually a little bit higher, like that coming over here, all the way coming to this location. That those are line, and also I'm going to draw the proportion for uh, the iris. The iris is located here. It basically a circle. That the top part of the circle is being blocked by your upper eyelid. So what you are going to measure is also between this part compared to the iris. And it looks like the iris a little bit too big. So I'm going to shrink it in a little bit because I compare that. This needs to be a little bit bigger. And also in here also can divide into two parts. This darker part and the lighter part, right? Like this. Now this is good. That's just the beginning of your drawing, getting the compositions, getting the proportion correctly on the paper. So the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna divide this into two sides. One is the light side, one is the shadow side, right? Now let's see, where's the shadow side? Let's take a look. From here on, and this the light side. This the shadow side. Over here, up here, I want you to draw the area for the shadow side. This is a shadow side. And on the lower eyelid, this side is the shadow side. And on the, there's catch the shadow. You can see, right? Now let's shade it. That's easy. If you already know the shadow, and the shadow, like that. And immediately, it will look three dimensional already. And also, along the edge over here, above the edge, is also have some shadow because it curve coming over that. 
and I'm gonna make this the local color of this add a little bit darker if you haven't heard about local color in the drawing I have videos about local colors particularly so how you analyze it so And this can be a little bit darker. Take a look at the value. The values are important element. Okay, like that. Now you look at this, it's, oh my God, is the eye already three-dimensional? So any anytime when you shade, separate the object from light side and the shadow side, it immediately appear as three-dimensional because you're looking for the light and shadow, right? Okay, after you're taking care of this, and the next thing you are going in to do is to double check of this smaller shape. Like I say, the smaller shape over here, you can see that, but the smaller shape within the big shape. And take a look at the edge over here. In over here, there is just the darker area over here at the corner. There's a smaller shape. And lots of people complain is, I just have no talent. I don't know how to draw. But every step in the process of the drawing, everyone can do. You just need to stick to the process and you can do anything just like everyone else can. Okay, now I'm going to looking for inside the iris. And I see this area a little bit lighter, but other areas a little bit darker. Right, like this. Now make a little bit darker, like that. That's the reflection. And inside, in the middle over here, also have a pupil. A little bit darker here, a little bit darker over here, like that. And now I'm gonna looking for, in this area, which is the light side. There's also a little bit darker, a little bit dimmer, and a little bit dimmer over here. And this area is the lightest. So I also use the needle eraser to make this a little bit more clean. Right, it's getting there. And in here, I also need to light up a little bit shape over here, and actually a little bit lighter. Right, that's very easy, like that. And take a look over inside this area. I can see a little skinny shape like that. I need to make it a little bit more clear, like that. You don't need to think about, oh, where is it? Give it a name, iris, eyelids, and, and soon enough you, you, you would know, you're out of the names to label everything because this is all this is specifically just shapes. Just think about shapes. So over here, coming up over here, there's also the compared the value. And big up he, down here, I also see a little bit lighter. So up here, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. And the reason for that is right in this area have the reflected light coming from below. And you can also add a few lines over here suggesting these are the eyebrows. That, for that. Let's come back. In here, it's not exactly white. So I'm gonna shade it a little bit coming out like that. I can use my finger or use, use the paper as the brander like that. And I'm gonna make this all a little bit great. And now I'm gonna look into the lower eyelid. And you're looking over here, it actually a little bit darker, but you don't wanna make it all to the darkest because you need to compare what have the mindset of the global contrast. This is actually not as dark as in the here, in here, right? It's very important. And I'm gonna shade this a little bit over here too if you want it to be smoother. So that's called the texture in the um, visual elements. Okay, like that. 
So a little bit, I this not too dark. A little a few lines like this, suggesting that it's there. Uh, eyelashes in the lower. Okay, now I'm gonna use my eraser to create a highlight. There's a little highlight over here. There's a little highlight over here too. Now this is what the eraser can help you. Eraser is not correcting mistakes. It actually a way for you to create lighter shape. that I'm going to use my finger to make this area a little smoother and then gradually you make it look more and more as a real eye right over here I can see a little uh, eyelashes at a little light so actually I can use the eraser to draw a little suggestions okay Stretch it. So it's based on your observation, looking at your reference, okay, or looking at the object in front of you. You don't want to copy from one drawing to the other drawing because they are different, right, like this. And now, what I would want to do, I also need to add a few lines over here because some line a little bit darker, some line a little bit lighter. Okay. Look at it again. Right. Now you can see how easy if you only rely on the visual elements, the light, the shadow, the, uh, the line, the shape, the value, the texture, all this are simple. So now I want to show on the lower eyelid, it has, make sure it has a little dimension like this come out. Okay, looking for the shapes. If you understand it, you're looking for the shape, how you can use those shape, uh, the line to deliver your observation. I think we finished the drawing of an eye.